along. It is the box seat on perthracing.com.au. Hi, Marty Young with you. It is HG Bolton Sprint Day at Belmont Park on Saturday, and Matt Nowland will be finding us all the winners, Matty. Hello, Marty. Hello, everyone out there in PR.com land. Yes, a big day of racing at Belmont this Saturday. The HG Bolton Sprint highlights the return of famous Roman Waratah's secret and King Cool Cat Power Princess, the Northern Sprint winner down the bottom, and also Premadale resuming. It's going to be a great race, the seventh event, a good support card. Weather conditions, cloud increasing. We're going for a good three, 5.9. The rail back to the inside after their race in the 12-metre position on Wednesday. A top of around 24 degrees, good conditions for racing. And, of course, all eyes will be on the great mare, Black Caviar, up there at Doombin. Uh, and, again, Hayless to take her on. It's really becoming the talk of racing... Not only Australia, but worldwide. Yeah, most certainly. Just a field of eight uh, remaining, and uh, Black Caviar's jumping from barrier four. Haylist out there in six, and uh, look, they want to be pretty good to beat her. All right, Matt, first event, the uh, Westbeat three-year-old handicap. Time to go early start. Don't get caught out on this one. 12.09, 1,400 metres, and the regulator was able to bolt in. Uh, two now, weeks ago, last meeting at Ascot. Let's go back and have a look at the comes win. Comes for Lacey over on the fence, though. And then two or three lengths to Red Mercedes, Her Cassidy and Ultimate Fighter. The regulator going down by the 150 in front of Lacey. Her Cassidy finishing full of running in on the fence. But the favourite boots away. It's the regulator drawing clear from Lacey, Her Cassidy and Ultimate Fighter. But the regulator... Good ride there by Kiri all aboard. The regulator controlled the pace from outside the leader and uh, really put paid arrivals in the home straight. Defeated Lacey by a length and a half. Ultimate Fighter ran on and finished in fourth place. They didn't go quickly early, made it hard. Uh, but on Saturday, with the claim for Haley Dina aboard the regulator, uh, Ultimate Fighter meets the regulator. Two and a half kilos worse at the weights and was beaten home by him. Hard to see him turning that around, Marty. You couldn't. Ballora was pretty good at Pinjara. Rises, uh, faces a rise in class here, Matt. Drawn ideally in barrier one, but he's up in grade. Defeated prime knockout. Um, look, I, I think he might just be a rung below these, Marty. Mm. And really, you wouldn't want to dig too much deeper with the rest of the uh, the rest of the horses in this race. Now it looks a pretty skinny race to start proceedings. Really think the regulator from Barrier Five with Haley Dina aboard will be up on the speed and uh, it'll be too good once again. Race one, number one, the regulator. He'll be short, but he'll be winning mm. the opening event. Good way to start the day. Race one, number one. Race two, the West Speed Stayers Bonus Handicap here. Pretty skinny race as well, and this replay will get uh, most of the winning chances in the race. Let's have a look at. Sense of purpose when he was able to win at Ascot on the 30th of April. Smart twist of the leader, tackled by Sense of Purpose. Sense of Purpose. Smart twist to beat off, found and kept. Dash incredible. Then once a week, but Sense of Purpose with 100 to go hits the lead from Smart Twister. Once a week coming from the tail end of the field, running on, but Sense of Purpose pulls away. It's Sense of Purpose for the prize. A couple of very good runs in that race. Obviously, the winner, Sense of Purpose. A good ride from Peter Naki. Had the daughter of Tiger Hill right on the speed approaching the swing for home, and she was too strong for her opposition. The stable make once a week came from back in the field to finish second. Um, they come to Belmont now and I really think the key is once a week's got a good record at the track. She's had the seven starts here for three wins and one minor placing. Sense of purpose, two goes at the track yet to be placed. Uh, I think they've got the race between them. Found and kept will only carry the 54 and a half after the claim for Ben Kennedy uh, was beaten three and a quarter in that race and so was genuine silence. The winkers go on, the blinkers come off but Look, I think it's a race in two cents of purpose once a week. I just think with the track stats once a week, uh, Kira Yule aboard just the 53 kilos, I think she'll be pretty hard to beat. But obviously the stable mate's sense of purpose is the main danger. Yeah, OK, good luck to the beat man, Stevie Litton, been in good form via Alchemic and looking for a win there with once a week. Great stats at Belmont Park, three wins from seven stars.